Well, good afternoon. Pastor Hayton here with another Lower Lights devotional. I'm going to be going off to keep a doctor's appointment here pretty soon, and I'm not just real sure why I'm going. If you were to say, how are you doing? I would say just fine. Are you feeling well today? Well, for an old man, I feel pretty good. You might say, are you uh, ready to die? And I might say, well, as Brother Lee used to say, I'm prepared, but I'm not ready. You know, I am going to the doctor, not because I'm feeling ill, not because I uh, think I'm at death's door, but I'm just going to go get a little checkup. And I think that uh, there's nothing wrong with going to get a little checkup on this old body once in a while, especially when it gets a few years and a few miles on it. I know that uh, the miles are many on this body. I've traveled a long way in this old world. And so I think it's only wise that we visit our physician and allow him to check us over. And I think about how, you know, we are concerned about the body. We do want to stick around a while. Uh, you know, we've got all eternity to enjoy heaven. And we want to enjoy the best life that we can here on earth. And if we're sick and afflicted and all puny, we're not going to enjoy life too well. So we want to stay well, and if there is something wrong, we want to find out if there's some treatment for it that uh, can make us better. Generally, they have a pill for about everything, so hopefully if they should find that something's just not up to uh, uh, par, that uh, they can prescribe some medicine that'll help us to live a quality life and and uh, spend a few more years here on the face of this good earth that God has given us to enjoy. But I'm thinking about if we're concerned about the physical man and uh, we want to stay well and healthy physically, how much more important is it that we show a concern for the spiritual man, for the inner man? You know, I believe that uh, we need to recognize that even, even as the body uh, can become subject to affli affliction and, and uh, illness, uh, so can the soul of man. I think about all the things that are out there in the world that influence us and oftentimes influence us in a negative way. There are things that enter into our mind. There are things that enter into our heart that uh, sometimes we need to do as the psalmist when he came before God and he wanted a good physical or a good uh, examination. And he just says, search me, O God, and know my heart. And see if there be any wicked way in me. Well, there are times, you know, like I say, we go and say, Doc, check me over. If there's something wrong, I want to know about it. And I believe that we ought to do the same thing spiritually. Every once in a while, search me, O God, and know my heart. Sometimes, you know, we have a... Uh, symptoms of something that we try to cover up and God doesn't want us just to cover up the symptoms of an evil or a wicked heart. He wants to take care of the heart. He doesn't want us to cover up the, the symptoms of a spiritual decline. Just maybe by trying to maintain a positive and a cheerful attitude when in reality we really don't always feel up to par spiritually. So, you know, I'm glad that we have these medical doctors that we can visit every once in a while and uh, they can examine us and if there's something wrong, hopefully help us to uh, uh, feel better soon. And I just think about how I don't want to neglect the spiritual man. I want to be strong and healthy and I want to, uh, uh, you know, enjoy the life that God has given me to enjoy. But I've got to be spiritually well spiritually healthy, and you know there is the great physician that searches us out and reveals any problem and has a remedy for any spiritual uh, uh, malady that we might have. So visit the great physician once in a while as well as these medical doctors. Just keep everything in tune, keep everything running smoothly, and enjoy the blessed life that God has for us to enjoy. Heavenly Father, thank you that there are times that we do come and we say, search me, O God, and know my heart. See if there be any wicked way in me. See if there's something wrong, Lord, that would keep us from enjoying the blessings of life 
as you want us to enjoy them, that would keep us from having the assurance of eternal life with you. Bless us throughout the day. Have your way in every heart. It's our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, I'll see you tomorrow, Lord willing, on Lord Ice Devotional, here with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.